How to protect your mind from standardized education. Above all, if you are not going to be like everyone else, then you will become a magnet to all the bullies. It does not matter if you are young or old, if it's middle school or college. Bullies just want to destroy beautiful, the way beautiful was destroyed in them. All they want is for you to start hurting them back and become a snarling beast like they are. The only way to fight a bully is to call the police, get it on video and keep calling them. If your teachers are ignoring bullies, tell the principal and also get that on video. Upload all your interactions with teachers and staff and other adults to the internet where everyone can see it and keep multiple backups. Do not fight back. We are all very delicate creatures, especially where our brains are concerned. If your bully falls and hits his head just the wrong way, the older you will never forgive themselves for that. Do not fight the bully. That's what they want. A warrior sees their enemy as broken cripples and never toys with them. A warrior takes down their enemies with a single strike. And all you need for that is the most powerful weapon. And that is creepy cops and security guards and loser adults that will get fired if they fail to help you because of all the videos that you have been keeping around. I repeat, if you are not going to be like everybody else, you will stand alone against the entire world. Please understand that you are not too young to call the police. Do not make the same mistake I did. I didn't know I could call them. And my most powerful weapon was just solitude. You call the cops. Now, allow me to describe the problem that you are facing so that you know how to visualize it. Early on, the way we learn reading, writing, and arithmetic, and if you are lucky, programming, is absolutely fine. It's not perfect, but it is fine and it works. But then, the idiot adults think they can ride the same process for more abstract subjects. And that's not possible. They are just too arrogant, too indoctrinated to notice that all they know from their own biology education, for example, is something about mitochondria being a powerhouse. See, the adults don't actually know that they are uneducated. And the few who do will just make crap up to cover their ass because of how complicated and overwhelming the world already is. They will say that your crappy school will at least teach you about socializing so that you don't end up being a creep. And really, privately find it extremely useful that school is a free and convenient babysitter. The fact that school is for education and that it is not what you are getting just flies right over their heads. This is very similar to cult members being indoctrinated into some dumbass fantasy or people being infected by slugs from outer space. They simply can't process what you are telling them. More than that, you didn't invent mnemonics for a more powerful memorization technique, and you are not good at cramming. Teachers are giving you a passing grade when they notice that you are cramming and memorizing. They don't actually care to teach you. They want to push you into memorization so that you pass all the tests 
and make it look like they are teaching so that they are left alone so that they don't draw attention to themselves so they are not transferred. Listen, all those people who have made you feel shitty, worthless and stupid, who made bullies seem like a reality that you have to put up with, mark your first meeting with the man who sold the world. You have been sold out for comfy little paychecks in a job where shitty teachers can't get fired. Oh yeah, and when they say that their work is hard, just look at all the work that they are doing. And when they say that you shouldn't memorize, they are just lying to cover their infantile asses. They don't actually have an education either. And please, do not drop out of school. They want those who stick out to drop out because they are the only ones that can expose them for the fraud that they are. You have to learn to manipulate these ghouls back. You have to learn how to wisely grow and rise, despite all the liars always trying to tear you down and use you the way religions use a coin, a little bit of it from a lot of people. The path of real education cannot be dictated, nor can it ever be standardized. That's going to be the dumbest thing even a bad person has ever uttered. Your mind has unique requirements. Only your own path through your most magnificent curiosities can decide what to learn next and how long to stay with it. It is impossible to learn a subject directly. Math is a kind of a good example, though you have to understand that you are not actually learning math in math class. You're just learning how to operate the formulas, not how to invent them. But even if math class was for real, you would still not be able to learn math in a math class. Do you understand? Are you hearing this? You cannot learn math in a math class. Just like you can't learn to swim in a shower or ride a bicycle by studying the wheel or fix cars by learning how to drive them. Being inside a car doesn't make you a mechanic. To learn math, you will need a real and powerful and captivating and fascinating reason, such as creating screensavers, automatic web comics, self-evolving bugs or animations, generative 3D jewelry that just spits out products faster than you can imagine them, and other weird stuff. You simply need a reason to say, oh snap, I need the code version of Orbital Dynamics for my pixel art game. Then, if you lose your mind or become so broke that all you have is a box of pencils and some paper, you can begin learning the paper version of mathematics or the primitive notation. Here, you should really just focus on the history of mathematics how all the formulas were built up across the ages. Every tangent, or what you have been mistakenly taught to mistakenly call a subject, requires a massive context build-up and a very large area. If you don't have a reason to learn something, you have to learn whatever calls to you first, and eventually, provided that that something is useful to you, you will make your way back to it, but this time not just memorize it, but comprehend it as a function of solving something that truly matters to you. 
This is called self-directed education. And here you are the director. You are the captain that sets the course. And the course matters to you personally and deeply. To put it simply, you need to gather lots of seemingly unrelated goodies along the way to get to where you are really headed in the long run. Standardized education will absolutely rob you of this and plop you into a brainless, insipid career where you will just fantasize about quitting all day long. Please, please be careful, because your teachers will trick you to temporarily memorize for the tests and then quickly push you out uneducated with just some vague impression of education so that they can take a paycheck home and put food on their table. Be careful. Finally, here is how you get your real education, or to word it correctly, here is how you make your way towards the intellectual inheritance that is owed to you. You will need narrated books. Books aren't actually meant to be read from paper. The author is not chicken scratching to you. They are speaking to you with words and soul and heart. So you need to hear books. It also happens to be the fastest way to get through thousands of them so that you grow up quickly and correct whatever mistakes were put in your past. If you are lucky, most of the popular secular nonfiction is totally free at the library. But you should start with adventure books, always nonfiction, as there you are inheriting the real hard won wisdom that will prepare you for a lifetime of adventure. Books about philosophy and actual philosophical volumes written by the philosophers should be close second and third, as they both hold a massive upgrade to your mind and will help you see your future. The popular books written by popular talking heads from TV tend to be fake, panned by a team of ghostwriters and losers. They usually just want to make you feel warm about your ego and vote for whoever paid for the shit show. Please, skip those books, as they will only waste your time. Bestseller lists are also fake. It is an amazing business. People pay a publisher for putting a book on their list. The ones that pay more get on the list sooner. Be careful because of the AI. The puppeteers will be masquerading their AI programs as human beings, again, just so that they blindly fulfill the promise they make to their clients. Please, always aim for the life-changing books that are held in high esteem by all the world's clear-thinking intellectuals. You need power and strength for what's coming next. When you are old enough, Take to the trails to make more room in your head. The Appalachian Trail, the Pacific Crest Trail, and the Continental Divide, which all together create the Triple Crown. Your intellectual inheritance in the shape of works of great beings will ensure that you will also inherit their culture and fully understand that to grow up means to grow all the way up until you too become a great being. For one, schools can't fix themselves.